With the purchase of a Dynamics 365 for Operations subscription, three standard environments are included. Additional environments can be purchased as add-ons. In this video, we will show you how to deploy an environment. In Lifecycle Services, also known as LCS, go to your implementation project. In the Environment section, select the type of environment that you want to deploy, and then click the corresponding Configure button. This will start a wizard that will guide you through the steps to deploy the environment. Enter a unique name and choose the data center location that is closest to your most important user group. Click Next. Click Change Selected Topology. Select the topology, which includes the application and platform version. On the Customize Solution Assets tab, select which Power BI report model should be deployed, the GER configurations, and the BPM library that you want to start with. Click Next. Decide if you want to enable product recommendations and click Next. If you want to see this environment on the Dynamics 365 for Operations homepage, select Enable and then click Next. Environments can be provisioned with or without a demo data set. Select if you want to provision your environment with the data set. Click Next. In this step, you must specify at least two email addresses for users who will receive notifications about planned and unplanned servicing events, maintenance, and downtimes. After you enter the email addresses, click Next. Review all of the environment parameters on the summary page, and then click Next. Type your name in the Customer Sign-Off section and click Save. After you do that, the request will be submitted and executed by the Microsoft Dynamics Service Engineering team. Now the environment status will change to queued. If you need to modify any parameters in your request, click the queued button. If you need to cancel and reconfigure the request that you submitted, go to the customer sign off section and click clear sign off. This will recall the previous request. Now you can restart the wizard and submit a new request. It will take several hours until the deployment completes and your environment will show up as deployed. This brings us to the end of this presentation. We hope you found the information useful. Thank you for watching.